can also help with the family business. Oh, look at that. Arise showing me some love. So you're not mad at me no more for cheating. That sounded crazy. Barba Moo. Barba Moo. Hey, 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 baby K. Who told you you can get some of my uh my healthy green tea, man? Who told you you can get some of my healthy green tea? That's a grown-up drink, bro. Since everybody's being selfish in this house, I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to make it breakfast for myself. I mean, baby, they about to leave anyway, so it's not even bad. Baby James, oh, okay. Mm, yeah. Oh, yep, yeah. get you a little plate. Bro, this dude came in here and stole my plate. Yo, that's crazy. Kilani has met Kane while at school. Cool, cool, cool. Or Kilani has met Sergio. Now Kilani. Why are they all boys? You know, I, I didn't want her to make friends, but it looks like you're meeting all boys. And slow down on the boys now. Go ahead and meet, you know, saying some girls. Claire looks pretty dissatisfied with her job. Give her a promotion or give her a break and send her home early to make her more satisfied. No. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with you, bruh. Suck it up, man. Oh, Clara, come on, dude, she quit on me? Man, take my shirt. Matter of fact, give me the shirt back. Don't come out. She won't leave out the store with my shirt. That's crazy. Uh-oh, guys, look at this. We're getting a call. Who is this? Don't tell me nothing bad, bruh. Don't tell me nothing bad. I'm gonna let you know that you're a close friend. Oh, my God. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. To another episode of the Let's Play series, man. The last episode, you guys will see, I made James bald headed just like me, man. Uh, I, I wanted to tr just uh, do it for one video. I'm, I'm about to change it back right now. Um, but we had a pretty good time at the uh, the little boat. We had went to the bowling alley and stuff like that. Uh, Baby K's friend Ratna, you know, what I'm saying, stayed the night. You know, what I'm saying, um, and, and it was it was real cool, except for the fact that she was trying to eat up all the food. And she was up all night watching TV, you know what I'm saying? Uh, wasting my electricity bill and all that. Um, but it's cool. This is a good little friend for Baby K. I'm going to have her visit more. And I'm going to have Baby K make some more friends. But um, right now, like I said, I'm going to change uh, James' hair back. I don't know. Uh, I, I do, Like I said, I do like the bald look. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like with the wrinkles on his face, it, it, just, it just makes him look older. So... You know what? Why don't we actually go with the hairstyle we never had? Uh, now we had we had these little braids before. I, I don't think we had these braids right here, but I don't think I want to. Those look like some like teenager type braids. Uh, I don't think I want any long hair though. I I I, I just don't think that is really gonna fit James. And it's it's really no like like they should. I feel like they should add like better dreads on here, but. Um, I think I'm just go with some medium. We, we got medium here. Um, let's see. Should I give him an afro? Which I think the afro. I might do the afro look. I never tried the afro look. Uh, I never tried the afro look. Uh, I, I might rock out with that. Should I rock out with this? That looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. The little afro look. Um, let's see what... Ooh, I like that beard with it. It, it. it connects real well. Uh, the big beard. Ooh. Well, this one right here. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that one right there. That little beard right there. And then the afro. Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that little afro right there. Uh, well, obviously, I got to change the hair for, for all the other outfits. So, I'm going to do that real quick. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and give James another hot outfit. Like I said, I, I do like this outfit that I did for... Uh, James and Rye, I kind of had them matching, but let's do another one here. Um, so I and I applied the afro to uh, all my other hairstyles. I mean, all my other outfits. So, what are we gonna do here? Uh, Cause I think it's still some. It might have just turned summer too, so we probably got like a lot of time. Uh, oh, should I rock a jersey? Oh, I, I, th I think I think I think I wore that before. Should I rock something like this? Nah, that's that's for when James was younger. That that just wouldn't make sense now. He's too old for that. Uh, I think I would just go like a regular shirt, regular white tee, or something like this. Oh, the black. Oh, I, I do like that right there. Um, let's see. Uh, or oh, I might go with a polo. But I, I kind of wear a polo all the time. Beater. Nah, that's not nah nah. Um, this look cool right here. Okay, I'm okay. I'm gonna rock this, but I think I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with that color right there. 
Um, and for the pants, I think I'm gonna do, do they have the big, the jeans that I like? Y'all know I like them like real big jeans. Yeah, I was already doubting it because this is uh, hot clothing, so they wouldn't have no big jeans. So should we just throw on some some uh, different shorts? Let's see, like some uh, what well, these? Why do these look like like not latex, but like they? Can, it's like weird. Um, black. I might rock, I might just rock those right there. Uh, let's see, these. those ain't too bad. What are these right here? I never saw these. These are these kind of look like like khaki pants or whatever. Um, I I really I, I really don't like how like some outfits you just can't like like you can't even wear socks with this outfit. Like I, I just don't like that. You can only wear these shoes. Like I don't get it. Like y'all should save this for like beach wear or something like that. Not. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Never mind. I'm gonna just delete this. I just really hate the like the hot. What you can even do with? It. Let me just look at the style looks because I can't even. Let's see. Um, yeah, all these are like super. Like this is for like the beach. Like not. Yeah, yeah. Y'all draw. Uh, so I, I guess we're good. I guess we just like I, I, that's the best I can come up with that little alpha right there. So. Um, this episode, I don't even know what we're going to do. Uh, it's Sunday. Oh, I'm probably going to have, uh, oh, wait, no, I don't, I don't go to work until, like, maybe Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday. But I was going to say, I'm going to probably have James work on his research and debate skill. Um, yeah, that, that, that apple on the beer looks really nice on him. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad, I, I'm glad I did that. Um, is Duke still on the leash? Pet care. All right, no, he's not. So, um, let's just go back to the crib. And like I said, I'll probably have him work on his uh, research and debate skill, because that promotion will look lovely. That's a couple thousand. Um, we're at 23,000 right now. Um, I'm not really saving up to nothing. Yeah, I'm not really, because I have got this house. Uh, and I'm thinking about Oh, you know what we can do in this episode? We can get back to the thrift store. We can get back to the thrift store or I can figure out what I want to do with like my restaurant and stuff like that. Um, cause the, the thrift store was really going good, but like the food, uh, guys, I, I don't know, man. I really do want to get back into like, like just doing like my little chef and I really do want to get back into that. Um, or my little food stand. So uh, let's go ahead and unleash uh, Duke here. Let's see. Oh, unleash. Um, and let's give him a little treat. You know what I'm saying? You did good on your little walk. Ratna's still here. Okay. What's up, Ratna? Um, let's give him a big old treat. You know what I mean? Duke, you know what I'm saying? You did good. I got him nice and washed up. I know he's normally dirty, but we was walking around the neighborhood. So I had to clean him up a bit. Um... And Arias' friend Gabriella Buckley over is, is over here. Uh, I'm not even gonna introduce myself to her because I know how James is, and he gonna end up flirting and whatnot. So I'm not I'm not even gonna do it. Let me have him come in here and work on his research and debate skill. Try to get that up. Hopefully we can get this promotion. Um, baby, K, where you at? Oh, she's still at the park. Rat Ratna was with her at the park. I don't know why she left, but um, do you have any other friends? Cause that'd be cool for her to invite a lot, like a lot of friends. Uh, oh wait, now I think about it. Isn't is it like James' birthday this week, baby James? Uh, oh, it's a Saturday. Oh, I'll be waiting for that. I will be waiting for that. Um, so baby K doesn't have any other like friends so um let's see isn't there something where i can oh i can put her in the after school pro, pro program i gotta do that um yeah i gotta put her in like her after school program i don't know how to do that I'm, i'll probably just wait until the next day as she goes to school maybe it's something that tells me if not i'll probably just look look it up or wait for one of y'all to tell me how to do that but uh <clears throat> James working on his little skill. Um, why is Araya crying? From feeling bitter about someone nearby. It's hard to be around Sahooch. 
Bro, James did not cheat on Uriah, bro. Why did they just lie and it just give Uriah this 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 why did they do that, man? That's that's so weird. Oh, and let me let me take this radio off this table and like put it in here or something before it freaking I'm gonna put it in the inventory before it start raining. Um But yeah, a couple episodes ago, I can say I like cause James like I said, cause he's romantic that he actually start he accidentally started flirting with um, Mrs. Hurd, and then they just listened at oh he cheated on her now she's heartbroken like bro you know you know it was an accident um oh I thought that was uh I forget what her name is but you know it was an accident I, like why are they making it seem like he did all that like but I I, I guess we're gonna go with it let's go ahead and um I guess we're gonna complain to uh what's her name Buckley Gabrielle Buckley complain about problem or vent how about we do that i guess it's pretty realistic go ahead vent to y'all get y'all talking on or whatnot i don't know why y'all in baby k's room doing it but hey eh. speak about baby k how about you complain with your friend um ratna's still here uh let's see call over group friendly um yeah let's just go back to that's actually just get yeah, go back to the house and then we're going to talk to Ratna a little bit. Like I, said, I don't know what time, how long she's going to be here, but hey, uh, baby K, you got a friend for the rest of the day. She, I think she came over here Friday, spent the night, or spent the night Saturday, actually. Um, and she's still here. Um, dang, Rocco needs to go. Can I, can baby K take Rocco for a walk or no? Oh, I was about to say, no, I guess they can take. Oh, she, oh, oh, we can let Rocco out. Okay, that's cool. We hear a lot of Rocco out. Um, so Ryan's still over here talking to uh, Gabriella Buckley. Like I said, I gotta get a bar too, cause I would love for them to sit and like have drinks. Um, that would be real cool. What is she doing right now? Contemplate life. On top of her already feeling bad about the Jabe situation, she's going through a midlife crisis. So, oh, I'm uh, I'm gonna holler at you later, uh, Gabriella. But yeah, she's going through a midlife crisis at the same time. So both of those on her, pretty sure she's going through it. Um, oh, Ratna's leaving. Hey, Ratna. I will see you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we had a great time with you over here. Hopefully you come back next weekend or whatever. But um, yeah, how about we talk to uh, Baby K a little bit? Oh, we got to feed Baby James. Oh, my fault, bro. My fault, my fault, my fault. Uh, give food to James. Give him a ham and cheese sandwich. It's two o'clock. That's not bad. Um, but yeah, guys, like I said, I really gotta figure out what I want to do. Like, I'm so lost of like what exactly I want to do with the um, what's it called? The little retail business. Uh, I don't know if I want to just stick with this or if I want to just stick with the uh. The chef thing. My heart is telling me to just just stick with this little fool stand right here, and then and just try to make some money off of that. But I don't know. I spent a lot of money on this retail store. It's going pretty good. I think I'll keep it. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just keep it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna make no rational decision and go ahead and sell it because normally I would do some stuff like that. But um, we'll worry about that later. Um, so did she already feed Baby James or no? I think he's still hungry. Oh no, see, he already ate. Um, why did. Wait, why did it say. It just said he was very hungry. They lied. He, he wasn't very hungry. Um, so he about to finish that sandwich. I gotta wash him up. Stuff like that. I got a riot talking to Baby K here, which is cool. Matter of fact, I asked her about school. Um, friendly. Um, lock. Oh, I can. Meet, I could talk to a kid about law. That's funny. Um, small talk, ask about school. How's the grades looking? Matter of fact, did she do her her homework? No, I think about it. Um, ooh, we got two fairy certificate. The certificate was awarded to Kilani for losing her first baby tooth. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that on the wall here. Um, I like little stuff like this. Uh. Yeah, I like little poster stuff I can just throw on her wall. But yeah, her homework. Did she finish that? 
Okay, yeah, she did finish that. Okay, cool. Actually, what is her grade? I completely forgot. Oh, wait, wait, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, wait, so what does it say? Wait, grade school in the middle of the pack by the other C students. Um, oh, grade school C student. Okay, that's okay. She she got some uh she got some work to do, but that she only been in school for like two three days. So give her some time to build that up. She will be an A student. Um. Yeah, I got James in here working on that. So yeah, I'm gonna let him rock and work on that for a little bit because it, it takes some time to uh to build that skill up. So I'm gonna let him do that for a while, and I don't know. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with him later. All right, guys. So I figured out. Well, first of all, hold on, hold on. James, you can stop doing that for a little bit, and then uh, you can get your thing and stuff in the shower, bro. Um, Cause yeah, cause you you rocking, bro. You got the green mist around you, bro. Yeah, you you need to hop in that shower. I'm sorry, um, but I figured out what I'm gonna do, guys. So during the week, right? I'm gonna really just have him, cause I was I was really just thinking like I I low key want to do everything though. Like it's hard for me just to lock in with the uh, the food stand, cause I want to do the restaurant. I mean, I want to do the retail. It's hard for me to just lock in with the retail, cause I. Spent this whole, you know what I'm saying, let's play series on having James be a chef. Um, so I just thought, um, oh, wait, wait. And then I was like, what am I going to do with the jobs? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep the jobs. And we're going to quit them. Um, so I realized what I'm going to do is throughout the week, they can work their regular jobs. You know what I'm saying? James is a, a, a very um, successful teacher. Arai is a lawyer. So during the week, they could focus on that. And on the weekend, we'll just run the family business where I'll have James. I was thinking of different ways I can do it, but I can have James outside running a food stand outside the retail business because it's like a lot of space. Um, oh my God, I got to hire a repair. First of all, one of y'all mentioned that the door might be locked. That's why the repair people can't get in. And I want to know if that's true. No. So it's already unlocked. I don't. I think the. Uh, I think the repair people literally are just scared that they're gonna die because of the previous repair ladies that came here and died. So they just want don't want to do that. Um, and I have bought this little. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna sell this. I've got to sell it. But I have bought this cupcake machine because I I was really trying to see if Baby K can um actually can I put this in his inventory at all? No. Dang. Um. What are we gonna do? Uh okay, here's what we do. Ooh, here's what we do. I'm gonna put this. Let me let me really move some stuff around. I can have baby K help out because I think I think kids can help out running the food stand. So what I'm gonna actually do is let's move this over here. Uh let's move this table for a second. Just throw it out here. And then let's throw this cupcake little stand out here. Um, all right, so yeah, what I was gonna have Baby K do is, I have to cook the cupcakes still. I don't think Baby K can make the cupcakes. Uh, yeah, she can't, so I'm gonna have to cook the cupcakes and I'm gonna have Baby K sell them. It can be her little, you know what I'm saying, cupcake stand. It's a little cute little thing. Um, but for the family business, James can be outside you know what I'm saying, running the food stand and a ride can be inside, you know, helping selling the clothes, you know what I'm saying, and we can do that on the weekend, that can be like the little family business and whatnot, um, let's see, we're, we're, we're going to get to eat here, first of all, let's clean out spoiled food, I, I'm going to clean out all this, I'm, I'm going to, whatever food is in here, I'm going to throw all of this stuff away, because I'm tired of seeing that clean out spoiled food, because it all eventually just gets... I'm saying molded and whatnot, so let's throw all this away. What else is even in here? Um, so we got the nigiri. Yeah, let me just go ahead and throw this out, dog, because I, I don't feel like waiting for that to spoil and then have to clean it out. I'm sorry, I just got to really make sure they're eating the leftovers. Um, put that in James' inventory. Yeah, so like I said, I'm throughout the week, I'm going to just have them work their regular jobs, except for like tomorrow because... Tomorrow, James doesn't go to work. He doesn't work on Monday, so uh, 
I'll have him just work the restaurant. I mean, I keep saying the restaurant. I'll have him just work the uh, the thrift shop, right? And then when Araya, wait, wait. Yeah, I'll just have him work the thrift shop on Mondays, you know what I'm saying? And then the rest of the week, uh, we'll just work our regular jobs. And then on like Saturday, Sunday, I'll have him, you know what I'm saying, running the food stand while Araya is inside selling the clothes. I don't know why that was so hard for me to explain. My brain is all over the place. Um, let's get like a little salad, uh, Caesar salad. Yeah, we can get that. I can't even talk. Uh, but yeah, that's I, cause I was like, I really want to do everything. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run a family business on the weekends and we can just work our regular jobs, you know what I mean, throughout the week. So that way we can do everything and I don't have to miss out. Um, realistically though, all of this would have been solved if I could have uh, cooked in my own restaurant. But for some reason, Sims just is just retarded. And they, you know what I'm saying, and they don't want to let you cook your own food or cook food in your own restaurant, which was, that that, that, that was just so stupid. I, I, I don't get it, but I got to live with a man. So I'm excited for that. And when, when baby James, uh, Goes into a child, he can also help with the family business. Oh, look at that. A ride showing me some love. So you're not mad at me no more for cheating. That sounded crazy. That sounded crazy. But she's not mad at me no more. So uh, thank you for the kiss. Um, what does it say? From adoring someone nearby. See, yeah, why are you tripping on me? See, look, she's going through a little. She's on a period. That's what it is. She was just mad at me. Now she, I, I get it. You know what I mean? Um, Who's crying, baby James? Why are you crying, bro? Oh, he need a little bat. Oh, okay. So rise in the shower. I'll have I'll have James, you know what I'm saying? Wash him up. Baby K, did you did you get some of this food? Oh, you don't want none? Oh well she's not hungry right now, actually, so let's just throw this in here. Um but actually you need to go to uh sleep, little girl. You got you got school in the morning. Come on now. Um sleep. And then actually, you know what? I want to buy James like another uh, appliance for the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Just to have something else. Uh, what are we going to get here? I, I I saw this. What is this? Tea Magic Personal Brewer. Let's buy this. You know what I mean? Throw this in here. Uh, actually, let's do a different color. I, I, yeah, I want it to match. Yeah, let's throw that right there. Um... Yeah, so yeah, what I, what I'm gonna do is on the weekends, you know and I'm saying we're running the family business. In the morning, I'm gonna just do the waffles, and then like after you know at like 12 o'clock, I'm gonna run the pizza stand, and I also I can have like a tray the tray of drinks, you know what I'm saying. And I'm gonna put some tables out there. It's gonna look real nice, trust me. Um, and then like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna go. I'm gonna run the thrift store because Arise gonna be at work, Baby K's gonna be at school, so. Um, I just have James run the run the thrift store. He's not gonna run a food stand. He's just gonna run a thrift store. Um, oh, I gotta I gotta hire a repair service. If they don't come, I'm gonna literally have to fix this by myself. Y'all know James hates uh, handiness, so that's just gonna be a headache. And look at Duke in there making himself dirty. My God, come on, man, grow up, bro, please. Uh, so hopefully, did they say they was coming? No? I thought I said, okay, hold on, let me try this again. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, high repair service. I don't know if it said they was coming or not. You know what I'm saying? Slide through, man, my toilet broke, you know what I mean? Baby K, what? I just told you, get in the bed, bruh. Nah, don't talk about dancing, bro. Get in the bed. You got school in the morning, trying to be slick. It's past, way past your bedtime. Come on now. So hopefully they actually show up and come inside and, and fix the, you know what I'm saying, the freaking issue here. Because they wouldn't do it for the computer. So I don't know. Um, oh, and, and Arai took it upon herself to watch Baby K. Thank you because I literally just forgot and I put James to sleep. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. What is this red thing? What's going on with you, bruh? Uh from being splashed. That shouldn't make you angry. 
All right, let's see. Are you gonna come inside? I think she's okay. I think she actually gonna help the son. Okay, cool. Okay, the repair ladies has faced their fears and are finally okay with, you know, they, they, you know, I'm saying they got over that 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 fear of them dying, um, and now they can come and fix whatever appliances or, you know, a little situation I got going on. Um, but baby James, yeah, how about you take your butt to sleep too? Cause you know what I'm saying I'm trying to advance time. And you up? You you really don't need to be up anyway. You know what I mean? Um, so. Appreciate you, uh, what's her name? Yet McCord. Uh, see, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to have you fix the computer. You could have made some extra money, but you were scared. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You being scary, so you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't make that money. All right, what are you doing? She woke up in the middle of the night to contemplate life, bro. Go to sleep. Um, so baby James about to go to sleep. Yeah, so everybody is asleep right now. So like I said, Baby K uh, is going to school in the morning. James, I'm going to send you a little butt to daycare. Uh, Arise going to work. And then, I should have said Baby Jane. Baby Jane, I'm sending you a butt to daycare. James, you know what I'm saying? You can go up to the thrift store. You know and I'm saying? See what's popping with that. You know what I'm saying? It should be, it should be, should be a cool little day. You know what I'm saying? Make a little money. Um, and we actually haven't ran the thrift store in a while. James, did you get all your sleep? Dang, bruh. Okay. Oh, let's throw this little dirty pamper in the trash. Ew. Um, so I guess, James, we can get a little breakfast in you. Uh. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. We don't got to work today. Okay, okay, cool. Uh. I was just thinking of that because I was thinking of... I didn't finish, uh, like, up in the level of my research and debate skills, so... Uh, I'm gonna probably do that because, like I said, the next day I go to work, I want a promotion. That'll be really good. Oh, and we got a little kiss from Mariah. You know what I'm saying we got to do that to make sure she don't hate us. Um, all right, so we never use this little tea thing, so it says we can boot a pot of calming. Can, is it chamomile? I think it's chamomile. Earl Grey hot, healthy green, pitch black, run. Ooh, run along. That is crazy. Sims, Sims always has something funny like that in the game. Spiced sparkling apple juice and steamy ginseng. If this is tea, where's the sweet tea at? Sims, y'all really dropped the ball on this one. I'm not gonna lie, man. Y'all should have. Come on, man. I, I want some sweet tea in this game. Sweet tea, my favorite drink. Y'all, y'all missed it. I could have got some sweet tea, some iced tea. Why well, dropped the ball on that one, man? Um. But we about making some tea right now. I'm probably about to give me a little bit of breakfast. Um, oh, let me play my little music, my little easy listening. Um, change the volume. Okay, cool. See, I like these mornings like this. It's, it's real nice. Um, Baby K, what you about to get? Can you get a real meal instead of that? I mean, I did say I want them to eat the leftovers. Um... But how about you just be a regular kid and get some cereal, bro? Like, why are you eating salad for breakfast? Yeah, just, just get you some cereal. You don't need no freaking Caesar salad. Yeah, that's, yeah, be a regular kid, man. So we got us some nice, uh, what is this? Healthy green tea. Um, now this isn't my breakfast. I just wanted to drink a little, drink a little something, something, uh, so actually, Araya took it upon herself to come in here and make cupcakes. Okay, man. Uh, what'd she make? Classic vanilla cupcake. She, yo, you did all that to make one cake, one cupcake, bro. You are so selfish. She did all that and made she. she I, I'm, I'm thinking she in here making something for the whole family. She made one cupcake. Wow, man. That's 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 selfish, you Araya. I'm sorry. That's selfish. Um. So we're getting another cup of this. Is this filling up our hunger at all? I think it is a little bit, but you know. But let's have a little little talk with Ryan. I'm saying, make sure everything is cool. Um, we can make toast, okay? She don't have no drink to toast with, but. Snark the paid one each. Bromna crimsivore, sponza. 
So he just made a toast to her and she doesn't even have her own drink. Wow, everybody's selfish in this house, man. Um, so yeah, right, you're going to work, go to work, baby K. Yep, you're going to school, make some, I'm saying, make sure you go there, get some good grades. Um, what does it say? Grab a drink. Dang, James, relax, bro. You just got two drinks. Now he want a third. Bro, oh, relax, bro. Seriously, like, it's not going nowhere. Um, use the bathroom. Get your little breakfast in you. And right out there, we're going to head to this uh, little thrift store. You know, uh, try and make some money to date, man. Um, now, days like this, it actually was good at the start because I would just take, like, a vacation day. And then uh, I would be at the thrift store, you know what I'm saying, making money. So I was basically getting double checks, so it was good. Um, now I see Rocco had to pee, but I'm gonna go ahead and let you out, bro. I really don't need to walk you. Barba Moo. Barba Moo. Hey, 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 baby K. Who told you you can get some of my, uh, my healthy green tea, man? Is this healthy green? I think it's healthy green. Uh, yeah. Who told you to get some healthy green tea? That's a grown-up drink, bro. I mean, it ain't no liquor in it, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I made that for me, man. Um, Since everybody's being selfish in this house, I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to make a breakfast for myself. I mean, baby, they about to leave anyway, so it's not even bad. Uh, It's not even bad. Um, But, yeah, growing up, bro, I think, like, tea, your mom's tea was just... Whatever if she got the little green tea or whatever, that was hers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You wasn't supposed to have none of that. That was that was that was for her. Like I said, it's not like it's like alcohol or liquor in it, but still, like y'all you drink regular juice, you know what I'm saying? Don't touch her green teas. You know, that's how it was for me. So same thing applies here. Baby K, like I said, be a kid, bro. Stop drinking green tea and see and Caesar salad in the morning. What are you doing? Um Look at James, bro. This Fat dude, bro. Relax on the... You know, I'm gonna let him do it. Because I guess it's good. I guess it's good. But both you ladies. Yeah, I'm about to say, get up and go to... You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. Love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Have a good day at uh, work. Have a good day at school. Yup, yup, yup. Get out of here. Um, Baby James. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah. Oh, yep. Get you a little plate. Bro. I made one plate of French toast and this dude came in here and stole. Why is everybody so selfish today? What's going on? This dude came in here and stole my plate. Yo, that's crazy. Wow, bro. I worked really hard on, on that French toast, bro. I worked really hard on that. And you go, matter of fact, I'm giving some scrambled as a bacon. I worked hard on that. You don't come in here and steal it. Okay. Just make sure you don't touch this plate. Um. Let's see, what, what what music is playing right now? I might know the easy listen is playing, but I can't. You know what? Let's change the station. Uh, I'll turn it to, what our turn it to sound like? You know, I'm turning the volume up a little bit. Okay, that's not bad. Do we like our turn music? Wait, what does it say? Oh, dislike and play. Okay, my bad, my bad. Okay. Um, okay, chain station. Um, uh, we don't like mix, uh, new disco. Mix music, what is this? Oh, nah, that's for little kids. No, no, sir, no, sir. Um, you know, yeah, let's just do a talk radio. You know what I'm saying? Like a little podcast. You know, that's cool. A little Joe Rogan podcast, don't ever hurt nobody. Um, why are you playing in the dishwasher, baby James? Okay, whatever. Yeah, so we're listening to our little talk radio. Uh, about to get us, bro. If you, that's is why he ate it, bro. If you eat your food, like I, I'm trying to get you to do. So yeah, go ahead and eat that. Um, Duke, you want to? Oh, he about to go to sleep. Okay, never mind. Rocco, where you at, bro? Um. Rocco, Rocco, did anybody see Rocco? Rocco, what a freak. Okay, let's just call you, because I don't know where you at. Um, so he's not in the backyard. He's not in these rooms. Uh, is he out here in the neighborhood somewhere? 
I know I said let out, but oh, my dude. By the time you get over here, it's, yeah, it's too late, bro. You was all the way freaking cross town. See, whatever. All right, let's go ahead and put this up. Um, everyone seems to be talking about. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, I forgot to click on Baby K, and I'm glad this popped up because I've got to click on her and like make sure she's doing good in school. Everyone seems to be talking about a birthday party that Kaylani wasn't invited to. She kind of thought the host was her friend, so it doesn't make sense. Should she ask her friend or let it go? We gonna let it go because we don't go to parties we're not invited to. We obviously wasn't thought of, so we gonna let it go. You know what I'm saying? Who needs a friend like that anyway? Kelani tunes out and plays with the new girl at recess. Later she finds out the invite of her cubby buried under a stale bag of pretzels. Oh, so she did invite uh, Baby K, but her fat self had pretzels. Come on now. Um. So let's see, at school, work normally. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just have her make friends for now. Just for, just for now, just have her make friends and then we can lock in when Axe is getting good grades, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Cause it's the start of the school year anyway. You don't wanna be going too crazy. Um, it literally is fall, that's crazy. So, uh, let's go ahead and change her outfit here. Let's see what we're gonna wear, why to make some money. This right here, I like this outfit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna rock that. Uh, what else do I have? I'm act and I'm actually change that that little polo shirt outfit because that's just trash. I don't know why I put that on it. Um, all right, so yeah, we can rock this and let's go ahead and go to the thrift store and try to make some money, man. I have not been to the thrift store in a while, so uh, I'm excited to see where we're even at. Cause I know I still got like maybe 500, 600, 700 points to go to hire an additional employee. Um, and then we'll have three people working. So that, that'll be really cool. All right, so in the previous uh, day of sales, we made 3000, which is really, really good. But guys, look at this. If you look around, we literally have nothing. <laughs> We have this one little kid outfit. Oh, this other kid outfit. We have nothing. Um, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to open the shop up so the employees can come here. But I'm gonna have to lock the doors for employees only, and we're we're gonna have to spend our time. Uh, everybody stocking up. You know what I mean? So that's what we're gonna do. Let me go ahead and make sure I lock these doors for us. So lock for. Um, everyone but employees. Yep, cool. And then I forgot this. That first time I tried to do this, I forgot there was a back door. And, uh, you know, uh, some of the customers came in. So, yeah, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Uh, so we're open for business. And then, like I said, when they get here, which is probably going to pop up any second, I'm going to just have everybody restock. You know what I mean? But this is what I was talking about, y'all. Like, look at all this space right here. This is literally made for this. I can run the food stand, like, over here. Have a couple of tables and stuff. Araya can be in here helping. Freaking the kids can be in here helping. Or I can have the kids out here running a little pizza or cupcake stand. You know, perfect. So, um, Mrs. Clara. Let's have you. Some Rick Taz. Um, restock sold items. You know what I'm saying? Please and thank you. I don't want to make it seem like one of those super bossy bosses. Uh, 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 bro, don't go nowhere, uh, Brantley. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't run off. Yeah, I'm, I tell you something to do too. Um, uh, restock sold items. Alright, so I think I already told Clara. So, Brantley, I'm going to tell you what I just told her. You know what I'm saying? We got to restock. We got to get everything back up in motion because... You know, so we had a good sale last time. So that's good. Um, so, Mrs. Uh, Josefina, Losefina, whoever your name is, we're actually trying to get to work. Was she about to ask me a question? I don't know. All right, so let's go in here and start uh, restocking. Like I said, I know I could just... Y'all think I should just... uh. Hmm, let's see. Create outfit. I don't know. Nah, I don't want to create an outfit. 
let's just restock all these outfits. I, I'm gonna just do it real, the realistic way. Cause I know I can just like put an outfit on them and I'll have to, I can skip that stage, but I guess I want to keep it realistic. Um, but Clara, I thought I told you to restock sold items. What are you? Okay, whatever. And then I don't know how long we're gonna run this. Uh, probably, probably to like five, six, seven. Uh, okay, yeah, then, never mind. Cause the ride gets off at three. I was gonna have her come help out, but it's, I ain't gonna worry about it. It's only, she only got two hours. Um, so is she slacking right now? I mean, it's Clara. She's not slacking. I mean, she's not working. So what is she doing? All right, all right. So she's coming back in here. So probably I'm gonna hit you up later. I'm not trying to join no fan club right or a sports club right now. Um. All right, so she's restocking again. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's go in and help him out. See, I'm one of the good owners slash bosses, and I'm saying I actually help out my employees. I don't just tell them to do stuff and sit on my behind. Um, I did that with the restaurant because I actually couldn't help it. Y'all know. If I had it my way, I'd really be in that kitchen. James is a, a chef, so. Um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? When we finish restocking this, I'm gonna close the store and reopen it because it's gonna basically have them listed as me having them working for like 10 hours or something like that. I, Cause I still wanna have like a regular time where I can just like a regular work day and me just selling stuff. I don't want me restocking going into that. Um, Kailana has met Kane while at school. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, but you know what? We can actually open the doors. So unlock. Uh, well, yeah, we can actually open the doors. You know what I'm saying? Y'all come in and start getting y'all stuff. We're pretty much halfway done with other stocking. Uh, we got a couple things left. Um, let's go ahead and restock this. Um, Brantley's going over there to finish that. And I think, yeah, I think me and Claire are on the last two right here. So cool, cool. So y'all are welcome to, you know what I'm saying, come on this side. Uh, but like I said, nah, nah, I'm just keep it open. I ain't worried about it. I'm just keep it open. So Darius Villarreal, first of all, my guy, you're a teen. Why are you not in school? I mean, I, I'm thankful you're in my shop, but shouldn't you be in school right now? A uh, friendly Greek customer. I got you, bruh. I'm sorry, I'm gonna help you out. Friendly Greek customer. And hopefully we make some some good sales today. You know what I mean? Some some, some good money. How much did we lose already? So we just spent two thousand. Oh my god. We just spent two thousand five hundred eighty. Yeah. I don't know. I wasn't closing and reopening, but I know that that kind of messes it up because customers will not come in. Um, so we got to we got to re, re up, man. We gotta we gotta make some money back. We just spent twenty five hundred restocking, man. That's that's not cool. Um, so I, Mister Mister uh, Darius, I get that you want to talk, bro. But I'm trying to operate a business here, so if we're gonna be talking, can we can it be about business, please? You know, I, I don't want to be rude or nothing, but, you know, let's get to the nitty gritty here, man. Uh, let's see. So we're going to do, yeah, answer questions, ask about price range, uh, discuss shopping preferences, and then hopefully there is, you will actually buy something. Like I said, I really should call your people, call your folks and let them know, yes, you're not even in school right now, but. I ain't gonna do that to you, bro. Um, and we're getting a lot of perk points. Like I said, we need we only need 600 more uh, to get the additional employee number two. Cause we already got two of them, so uh, we need this. And I can have three, which is which is gonna be real cool. Oh, guys, and I completely forgot. I gotta have them answering questions. Dang. I meant to do that. I meant to switch up their, their work tasks. I'm going to do that now. Because they were sitting there looking at each other. Like there's nothing to do. Uh, when there definitely is something to do. So yeah, you answer customers' questions too, Mrs. Clara. Appreciate you, appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? 
And let's try to uh, have a good business here. No, it's Darius. Darius, I was always talking. I was already talking to you, so uh, you know what I'm saying. Let's keep talking to him. And it actually looks like he's pretty close to buying, so yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Enthused about store. Kaylani has met Sergio. Now Kaylani, why are they all boys? You know, uh, I, I did want her to make friends, but it looks like you're meeting all boys. And slow down on the boys now. Go ahead and meet, you know, saying some girls. Um, uh, but look, look at that. Darius is really, really close to buying something. So, uh, offer information. Yeah, I'm saying we're really close to getting a, a sale, our first sale of the day. So let's go ahead and do this. I, I, I'm on his tail, bro. I, as soon as I saw him, I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't stop. I, I was putting pressure on him. And she reached sales skill level three. Claire has become a decidedly average salesman. She is able to ring up customers at a reasonable pace. Most successful when offering assistance to customers. Okay, good. Nice. Thank you, Clara. Working really hard, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and praise her. After after this guy go ahead and is ready to buy something. Uh Ooh, endorsed products. That's a new one. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. This will probably be the last one before he's actually ready to buy something. Um Is he ready? Yes, sir. Alright, so. That was all us. That was all our work right there. Uh, we got him ready to buy some. So let's go ahead and ring him up. Um, and like I said, I can't wait until I got three employees. And then like I said, I basically can let the store run by itself. If I got three employees working and everybody's, you know what I'm saying, their skills is maxed out, that, I'm, that'd be a nice day, man. Nice day for the family business. And then like I said, at that point, I'll have Orion helping out, the kids helping out. Like, we're gonna make some real money with this, man. Trust me. So, Darius has just purchased an outfit for $218. Okay, cool. Now, we still got a way to go before we re up on our funds, but I believe we're gonna get that done. Um, so, let's go ahead over here and talk to Kyle Kenson. Is it Kyle Kenson? Kyle Kyleson. Okay, what a name. Um, answer questions. Let's see, retail, ask about price range, you know, the whole nine. Um, so Kilana is done with school for the day. She's doing satisfactory work where her teachers at Leningrad Elementary think she can easily improve this a little bit. Of that. Well, of course she can. You know what I'm saying? She's a, she's a, uh, oh. <laughs> I was about to say she's a Simpson. She's a, she got a ride last name. Uh, that's my bad because I didn't marry a ride yet. See, this is that's my bad uh so let me switch to at i'm not gonna switch to her but uh oh i just i just do it later uh let's have her build skill hmm oh you know what i can bring her here and she can do her homework that's that's because that's what i was about to do i was about to like switch to her at the house and then have her uh do her homework and switch back to James, but she can just come here, do her little homework, and they can go home. Cool, cool. That way I can keep an eye on you. Uh, yeah, that way I can keep. Okay, that's cool. So I'll switch to uh, Baby K here. Inventory. Did you not? Yeah, school. Why are you hungry? So go ahead, do homework. Uh, hopefully, little girl, you could. I mean. Oh, you know what? There isn't space for her to do her work because there's a computer in the way. So she's doing her work on the concrete. My bad. I didn't make you look like that, like a fool. I didn't make. I didn't mean to make you look like a fool. Uh, my bad. But at least you get your work done. So somebody's better to buy. Who, who just said that? Oh, my boy right here, Travis Scott. We got Travis Scott in the store, guys. Um, go ahead, help you out. Uh. So baby K is actually in the store. Okay, now she I guess she got tired of the concrete and now she's actually in the in the store. Um but funny thing is that's the same it's the same material, bruh. Uh inside of the store, the floor is the same outside of the store. So you're still sitting on concrete. I'm sorry. So Travis Scott just bought something and then somebody else who just said that. Uh oh, her over here. Josefina Parata. 
uh, ring up customer. And what is that? What? what why did to make that noise? Claire looks pretty dissatisfied with her job. Give her a promotion or give her a break. It's in her home early to make her more satisfied. No. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with you, bruh. Suck it up, man. Give you a break. Bruh, I would, I, this is my first time in the retail, retail store after like weeks. Like, what are you talking about? You need a break. Nah, I'll give you a break, alright. You, you fire you. Um, so, ringing up this customer here. Is it really Josephina? I don't, I just probably saying it wrong. Brantley is also dissatisfied. I really don't care, bro, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? If y'all really got a problem with it, go ahead and take a strike, man. Go ahead. I ain't, I ain't even tripping. Um, so, this guy is almost done. Uh, Kyle Kyleson, he's almost ready to buy something. And we just made about $600, too. Yup, we definitely just made about six hundred, seven hundred dollars. So let's keep this up because we gotta. You know what I'm saying we gotta re up, man. Hopefully somebody somebody buys this uh this little tea set. Cause I has to put her homework for the day. Okay, cool. Now you can go home. Cool. Um, I would. Did we have food in here? Our inventory? No. Okay. She definitely could. Oh wait, I don't know if she can help out with the store. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she can. Oh look, that's Sergio Romeo. That's all I'm about to say. I should know him. That's remember that's uh. Oh no, I'm thinking the uh, surprise son. I don't know who the heck that is. But you go ahead, go home. I don't know if they can work on the store because they didn't. It didn't give me like her interaction for her to like greet the customer or whatnot. I don't know. But you had to go home, you know what I'm saying, get you a little something to eat. You know what I'm saying, you did your work, you made some friends, you know what I'm saying, I'm proud of you. Um, so yeah, my guy Kyle Kyleson, retail, discuss shopping preferences. Oh look, somebody's ready to buy. Oh, and he's about to buy the tea sets. Thank you, thank you. Y'all know it's my most expensive product, and I was really hoping somebody buys that, so. Um, I got you, uh, Sergio. If everybody's in the store right now, I'm, I'm gonna make sure all of them buy something. Especially Kyle Carlson, he's definitely about to be ready to get something. So, I think we're gonna re-up. Yup, yup, he's ready, so. I think we are going to re-up. Um, but we really should have, we really should have doubled what we just paid to restock. So he just bought that, see, look at that, look at that, look. Look, watch when this, look at that, look. Perfect. So now we only owe uh uh 964. That's cool. That's cool. We're definitely about to make that. Um we'll rig up both these customers right here. And then y'all see how easy it is. I can just do the ringing up and then I just keep Claire up. First of all, she's slacking. Watch it say she's not slacking or something. Yeah, you're definitely slacking. What are you doing? Okay. I'm gonna have, I'm Definitely gonna have to have a talk with her. Um, and who is this? Rarahu. We met her before. She's probably like in the club or something. Um, let's go ahead and ring her up. I got you. I got you. I got you. Appreciate you, Kyle. We got another customer in here. Um, Alas, Alexi Rob. Wow, what a name, bro. She's ready to buy something. Okay. Yep. 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 So. Business is still going good, man. Business is still going good. Um, about to ring her up, and then we're about to ring L'Oreal. L'Oreal? Is that the name? I don't know. I couldn't pronounce that. Who is that? She about to come in here. I never saw her before. Oh, this is Elsa. Oh, this is, this is Claire's daughter. Okay. You gonna buy something, bro? Um... So we need 528 left to, you know, re-up on what we just uh, paid for for restocking all this stuff. But we're going to have to pay it again because, look, guys, everything is almost gone. So actually, I'm, I'm going to really have to up the prices, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to have to up the prices to, like, 50% because we got to make some more money. Um, 
Now there's only one toilet and I see her holding, who is this? Aaron. I saw him having to pee, but bro, I gotta use it first. So. If you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and step in there. Um, and once again, I see Clara in both, well, he might be working. Yeah, he's working. It's just Clara that's in there playing around on her phone. It ain't even nothing that instant on your phone for you to be not working. Um, so I see somebody ready to buy. Cool. So let's have her answer questions. So Clara, please stop slacking and get back to work. Thank you. Um, oh my 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 guy. Oh, is that the same guy? I don't know if that's the same guy that already, uh, what's his name, Darius? I don't know if that's him. Who is that? Is that Darius? Oh, that's George Barry. They look, the, they look exactly the same, the same outfit and everything. What the heck? Um, so about to ring her up. Yeah, every, everything is definitely about to be going, like I said. Next time we run this, guys, um, I'm, I'm for sure up in the price mark up because that's just that's just crazy we need some more bang for a buck here um bring up customer so, and i think i would really like it if i think i i think i would really like it if i shut down the store once we sold everything instead of me just shutting down the store um first of all how long have we been open oh clara Come on, dude, she quit on me? Oh, we were just going, oh. Oh, come on, Clara, like we. Oh, is she gonna do that in front of her? You gonna, you gonna do that in front of your daughter? You know what I mean? You gonna show your daughter like, a bad example? You quitting your job? Man, take my shirt. Matter of fact, give me the shirt back. Don't come out. She gonna leave out the store with my shirt. That's crazy. Um. Well. Guys, she just quit. So, I mean, it's not like she's working anyway. Really, not like she was doing anything. So, I'm not even worried. But, um, yeah, it's, yeah. Today was terrible. Today was terrible because we we spent all our money on restocking. We only really made a hundred thirty nine dollar profit, man. So, today was kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go ahead and shut the business down. Um. I, and then actually we had a negative 77 profit. So yeah, that was today was a terrible day, guys. Uh, so yeah, let me actually go ahead and head home. Or actually, am I am I tired at all? Or, no. How about we actually head to like a restaurant or something? It's eight o'clock, so I think I, I think I know where I'm gonna go. So travel. Um, should I go to a restaurant or should I just go to? Uh, how about, alright, me and Chris, hmm, me, Chris, anybody else, no, okay, why do I hate the, oh, I remember I fired her, okay, okay, uh, alright, me and Chris, I'm gonna just head to like, uh, the, I think it was that spot that y'all, like, one of y'all mentioned that the show Friends was based off of that spot, or the, the, the location was based off the show Friends, so I think I'm gonna head there and, uh, get me a little something. What is it called? Central Perk? Yeah, so we're gonna head here, get a little something to eat, have a little good combo and whatnot. Alright, so we made it to the little spot. Uh, it looks pretty empty. Nobody's here, but no, I'm saying they'll probably start showing up, but my guy, Chris, man, what's going on, bro? I haven't seen you in a while, bro. Um, let's give him a little hug, and I'm saying I like to give all my friends hugs. Uh, how you been, bro? I, I wish I can like dap him up. That would be cool. I mean, you can do that, but I have to be like a bodybuilder. Um, friendly and let's compliment his outfit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, compliment outfit. Yeah, man, that's a good little fit you got on, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and then we're gonna come in here. Yeah, it's pretty dead in here. Is it cause it's late or just cause you know what I mean? Um, is this an entertainer? He definitely is. Okay. Are you about to get on the mic or something, bro? So, yeah, let's get some, uh, a mac. Oh, I always thought that said mac and cheese platter, bro. That says meat and cheese. Wow. Um, 
Let's get curry worse. I don't know what the heck that is, but we're going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a little something. Hang out here. Talk. Chris is probably going to leave. Uh, actions. And we're in a group, so I, if he leaves, he's just going to leave, bro. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I, then I'll just end up talking to somebody here. That's cool. Um, and this is Tulia. Alika Peek, yeah, I remember I met her before, I think at a club like in the beginning of the game. You know what I mean? So what is this? This says Curry Rust. I I, I have no idea what that is, but we're gonna eat it because we're hungry. Um I'm gonna sit here and talk to Chris a little bit. Friendly, deep thoughts, uh deep conversation. Um Kind of chatted up with him. The entertainer, where are you at? Um, oh, this is that little room right here, isn't it? The little entertainer room? No. Oh no, this is the bathrooms. Oh, never mind. The entertainer. That's in a different. That's in a different uh little spot, little lounge. Uh, there's a vampire here. Okay. Wow. Um. Yeah, you're definitely a vampire, bruh. Yeah, uh, you're not slick, bruh. I just, I just saw you teleport here. There's a celebrity here. All right. Oh, Judith Ward. We tried to get her autograph before, and she wasn't rocking with us, so we're not going to do that no more. Freak that. We ain't not about to get embarrassed. Um, all right, so I guess that, that filled him up. Um, oh, you know, Araya should come here. What is, what is Araya's guitar skill on? She has a four violin skill, two singing skill, and a, what, probably like a three or four. Oh, a six guitar skill. So Ryan definitely can come here and play the guitar a little bit. Okay, okay. Cool. Um, so what else is to do here? I see it's like a chill. We can just sit here and talk. Um, yeah, how about let's sit and chat here. I mean, let's sit and chat here. Let's just hang out. I guess I wish there was an entertainer, but um, and I definitely could hire someone, but I'm not about to spend my own money. What the heck? Um, so yeah, me and Chris are kind of just chopping it up. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen my my, my guy in a while. Uh, Johnny, you know what? While I'm sitting right here, let me just call up Johnny. See what he's up to. Uh, it's Facetime actually. Social. Um. Video call Johnny. I haven't seen Johnny in a while either. I actually haven't seen, probably haven't seen Johnny longer than I've seen Chris, to be honest with you. And this vampire, bro, we get it. You a bat, bro. You can fly. Why do you keep doing it? Is she the entertainer? Mel Prescott? No. Oh, she just dancing. Um. And so yeah, right now we're talking on the phone with a. Uh, Johnny just to catch up with him as well. But we're probably going to head home because it's late. So I got a, a, a girl and the kids. Girl and some kids to get back to. So, um, did Chris leave already? I think he did. Uh, yeah, I think he did. I don't see him. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head home. Like I said, I got, I got a family to get back to. You know what I'm saying? We're probably going to uh, end it off for the night. You know what I'm saying? Get James to bed. Like I said, we gotta head to work in the morning. Oh, you know what? I can have James work on his research and debate skill and try to hurry up and improve that so he can go to uh, work and uh, and get his little promotion. So, yeah, I'm gonna definitely do that. I think I got like a little space left to improve. So, I'm gonna try to do that. Hopefully, get this promotion, make this money real quick. We gotta pay these bills as well. Um, twenty five hundred for the rent is crazy. Not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's come in here and let's work on that. Uh, practice debate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so yeah, he got some space left. I'm gonna leave him here to do that for a while. And James, I'm sorry, I'm doing this to you, but. You cannot leave until you master that. Or not master it, but you know what I'm saying? Improve. Um, James and Kaylon have a difficult fit. These Sims can't send to get along? No. What the heck? No, we're good. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let him do that for a while. Uh, actually, while he's doing that, I'll put everybody to sleep. Why are you yelling at the kids, bro? What the heck? Oh, Ari, you tripping. Why did she just yell at the kid? What is she about to do? Cry in the bed or something? Oh, she probably just yelled, yelled at the turtle to go to sleep. Ari, what, what's up? Oh, that's why they just asked me about the... Why did I not get them all? Alright, go ahead, go to sleep, bro. You just angry. Um, let's turn this radio off. Um, she's going to bed. Baby James. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's feed Baby James because he is pretty hungry. Uh, give food to James. Let's give him some peas, and then we're gonna put him to sleep. I don't know why Arias. Probably because of little midlife crisis she's going through, but she don't have to take it out on baby K. She ain't even do nothing. She did her homework and everything. Like, come on now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave James to do that for a while and we'll check back when he's up to skill. Uh-oh, guys. Look at this. We're getting a call. Who is this? Don't tell me nothing bad, bruh. Don't tell me nothing bad. I'm going to let you know that you're a close friend. Oh, my God. Bruh. Genesis or Mrs. Heard, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Mrs. Heard? Oh my god, bro. That was literally the closest family friend we had, like next to Sapriah. Um, dang. That's tough. How the freak are Baby K and Baby James getting a call? Dang, Mrs. Hurt, because y'all yeah, know that was the uh, the nanny for a while, but then she just became a close friend. Oh my goodness, guys. How did, now, nah, okay. Sims, come on now. How the heck did she die? Because she's an adult. She's not old. Dang. Baco died when he was, like, still young. Like, come on, Sims. That's tough, bro. So we're going to be messed up for a while. Two days. Cause that's a good friend. Um, let's see what it says. From losing a good friend. How how close? Good friend. So yeah, she was close with the whole family. Um, dang man. Everybody spam R R I P Mrs. Heard in the chat, man. Um, that's good people, and that was that was real family of ours. Uh, that's tough, but dang so. We lost Mrs. Hurd, like I said, we lost Mrs. Hurd, lost Baco. That's tough, man. I mean, I guess everybody in the game can't die when they're when they're just old. You know what I'm saying? Some people just have to go when the time is called. That's sad, but Mrs. Hurd, we definitely will miss you. Uh, and it, it actually we left off a relationship on a bad note because y'all know it was when like James accidentally was flirting with her and stuff like that. So. It, it was on a super bad note, but <sighs> we're gonna we're gonna try to put that behind us, man. James is almost done with uh up in his his research and debate skill. He's really really close here, um, and the only reason I kept him up doing it for so long is because he still has a lot of energy, so he can just get like a little bit of sleep before he goes to work, cause he don't he don't go until ten, so um. He should up it like any second here. Uh, Kelana has a loose tooth. And she got another loose tooth? Okay, we're about to take it out in a second. Well, I get what well, she just about to have to go to school with that loose tooth. Uh, so. Yeah, this episode definitely was, was going like, first of all, Baby K and Araya was arguing. I don't know what they were arguing from. James finally reached level 9 of research and debate skills, so. Um. Let's have him go to sleep. I wonder if Duke is affected too, because I know she like this is her. She knew Duke too, so I wonder if he was affected at all. I mean, I can't click on the dog to see his emotion, uh, so I don't know. Um, but look, James, just go back to sleep for a little bit, bro, because well, he about to head to daycare anyway. But I'ma send James off to work. Hopefully, we can get this promotion. Uh. And at least, at least in the episode off on a, on a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, good news. Like, my God. Um, 
Rise give me a call. Can I answer the phone? No. Oh, we talked. Okay, cool. Um, so let's go ahead and send James to school. I mean, um, James to work. And then let's see if we got this promotion. Like I said, try to end this episode off. Um, it's a daycare. Try to end it off on, on some form of, of, of good news, man. Because we lost Mrs. Heard, man. That's not good. We got to we gotta figure out what's going on with Baby K and Araya and why they was yelling at each other. Because um, that's not cool. But James should get his promotion here. Uh, Baby K is home from work. Let's have her do her homework, of course. And I'm saying make sure you work on that. Um, and then, yeah, but... Yeah, that, that news just kind of threw off, threw off the whole vibe of, you know what I'm saying, this whole episode. It was good at first, and then it just it just went downhill. So, Baby K finished her homework. And Chris, you at the door. I see you, but, uh, um, yeah, let's actually send him home. I don't want no grown man at home with my daughter while I'm at work. Because I, for a second, I actually was about to invite him in and, uh, you know what I'm saying, let him hang out because I'm about to be off, but... That would just be weird, so. Um, let's see, did we get a promotion? No? That is kind of wild, because I worked very hard. I feel like I deserve a, uh. Oh, we didn't review. Come on, Sam. Let's have him do that right now. That's crazy. I worked all hard, and I didn't even do all that, so. Career, uh, she has career. Review better proposal. So, yeah, let's have him work on that, man. And we're going to uh, end the episode off right there, guys. Once again, uh, spam RIP Mrs. Heard, and I'm saying in the comments, uh, because that was just bad news for everybody. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And like I said, we're, next episode, we're going to figure out what's going on with Baby K and uh and all right i'll probably have them go out to like lunch or something like that and have like a, a daughter and mom date or whatever um and we'll figure it out but like some end the episode up here make sure you guys like comment subscribe this was a super long episode uh, but yeah i'm gonna see you guys in the next one